Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am showing you how to wire up an electric oven. So, sometimes the ovens don't come with the cables, but this one has. And the faceplate I've already took off for the electric. I mean, before you touch any electric, make sure it's off at the fuse board. Please make sure you do that because obviously if it's on and you touch it, you're most likely going to die. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, so make sure it's off. To be safe, I normally have a tool which you can touch on the wires to check if they're live. Um, but I don't have one, but I know the power's off. I've done it at the fuse board and I know this cable runs to this socket and it you switch it on here so you turn that on and the microwave doesn't come on so i know there's no power going into it but it's always good to get the tool just in case and if to be honest on some some fuse boards you can't trust the labeling so in some cases where it says a cooker switch you switch it off and it could still be live where they've mislabeled it so it's always good investing in that tool um, and even if you're not sure you don't have the tool just turn off the whole fuse board just to be safe yeah um, but anyway the power's off so it's a simple job really I mean most people are scared to do it because of the danger that's involved but turn the fuse board off there's no danger then is there and it's a simple job get your wire And literally, you're just matching colours, <laughs> you know, kindergarten stuff. You know, you've got brown, blue, and yellow, let's say. Um, obviously, earth, neutral, and live. And you're literally just matching it up with the one that's already in the socket. So, brown goes to brown, which is live in this case. And obviously, green and yellow is earth, and blue is neutral. And all you do is... This clip here, you, it's a bit awkward, maybe you can undo it more to get the wire in, but you want the wire to go in there first. Because then it holds, you clamp it into place then, once it's in, if you know what I mean. Because it's such a thick wire, it probably helps to have this as far back as you can go. And then what you want to do push the wire up. I'll pop the camera down a second. Right, now I put the camera down. You can get two hands in there and hold this back whilst you put the cable up through. And you just want to do it so, you know, it's it's pinching the white, because obviously you don't want to pinch in the, uh, the bare cables itself. So get it onto the white and then you can just tighten it down with your hands for now just to hold it in there, you don't want to tighten it fully because you want to get your cables in first uh, so now we've got the wire in there we're now just matching them up so basically in position and what I want to show you is also these screws so the bare bits of your wires go underneath and up behind the screw and it obviously connects to that the main wire coming in then which is the power so you put it in behind and then tighten up the screw and that holds that in place and obviously keeps those two connected and you do that to the same yeah So I'll put the camera back down and get the wires into position. Right, camera's back in position. It's actually easier. Obviously just make sure you don't drop them. To take the screws out fully. And then you can just actually push the wire onto the other wire then. Push it in and put the screw on top. But making sure, I'll show you. 
I'll show you a bad example. Do not leave that out at all. It's common sense, but obviously that will be live and that won't be in there, so that will be causing you know, sparks and could trip off or cause fires. So you want to make sure, obviously, it's a nice, neat connection, straight connection. There we go, see? So as you can see, I took the screw out, so you can just actually push that in there and then screw down on top, okay? And do that with the other two. So I'll do that now, put the camera back down for you. Okay, camera's back in place. So literally push the wire in, in place, like that. Make sure it's a nice, neat connection. Get them all in there. Nice and tight, back as far as you can go, and then get your little screw and screw it up. Make sure it goes in nice and straight, you don't want to cross thread it. And then you want to make sure it's a nice firm fix, obviously you don't want no loose connections to you. There we are, as tight as it can go. And give it a little tug, and that's not going anywhere. So, it's the same method for the next two. Take the screw out, put it to one side, push the cable in. And then put the screw back. It's not a long job. It's just getting over the fear of touching electric. But like I said, turn the fuse board off. You know nothing's going to sap you then. Tighten that one up. Test it. Make sure there's no movement. And then do the same for the last one just undo the screw to get it out makes it easier to put it in you know no point trying to fight with the wires is there again make sure all the bits are in there push it firmly in place first and then get your screw And put it back in. Hmm. If this one wants to go in, go home, screw. Go in your home. <laughs> there we go. Go home, ball. <laughs> right, that's all tight now. Now, tighten your connection up here. Are you happy with the position? Again, it's all done with the one screwdriver. You know, you call an electrician out to do this. Yeah, charge anything from yeah, 60 to 80 to 100, 100 pounds, so you know, for a 10 minute job. Alright, that's all tight. There you go. Wires are tight in there. Give it a tug. That's fine. So, last thing to do. Put your faceplate on top with two screws. Straightforward, you know, line it up, screws go in to the hole there. It's 
So I do get a screw in there first. I'm going to line it up with one of the holes. It makes it a bit easier to find. And then just tighten it by hand till it catches. There we go. Put the other one in so it lines up. There we go. And now I'll just tighten them up with again your flathead screwdriver. Again, making sure the face plate is on nice and tight. And that is all there is to it. Obviously what you want to do now is turn on the power and check that is all working fine. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.